Now Here there's the red. All right. Hello, my name is Alexis. Welcome to Living Energy Farm. We're going to give you a little demonstration today. We built this wonderful microgrid at Living Energy Farm, and we've been trying to convince everybody in the world to use it. But the problem is, in the United States and in the world, so we have learned, everybody's addicted to consumer energy. We're addicted to consumer junk, consumer food. We're all addicted to consumer energy, too. That's the AC stuff that comes in off the power line. You can use it. You can throw it away. Nobody cares. And when people build off-grid systems, they build AC systems, and they throw away the electricity, they build big, expensive systems, a bunch of craziness. So what we have built at Living Energy Farm is a much, much, much better system. With any AC system, whether you've got grid power or an off-grid system, if you had one and a half horsepower motor, you'd have to have two horsepower worth of batteries and inverters and $50,000 worth of electronic junk. Well, what we have is a bunch of DC motors. We have one and a half horsepower supply, about 1,400 watts, right? It's a cold winter day. It's the first last day of November. Uh, not winter exactly, but at 40 some degrees. We have our heating blowers running in the kitchen in the house. Those are two separate buildings. So right now, we have uh, a three-quarter horsepower motor running in the house and a half horsepower motor running in the kitchen. That's one and a quarter horsepower on one and a half horsepower supply. So those motors are running. They're doing great, right? Now this motor right here is a one and a half horsepower motor by itself. This motor can theoretically soak up all of our supply, except with the magic of a DC microgrid, you can way overload the system, and it works just fine. I'm going to turn on this motor. So this piece of steel, this is actually a, a machine, a spindle for a mower that got all chewed up. We welded a, b a bunch, uh, and I have to machine it back down. And this film is going to show you how we machine with our DC microgrid. So I'm going to turn on this motor, and we're going to have, when I throw that switch right there, we're going to have one and a quarter plus one and a half. That's, what is that? Two and three quarters? I can't do the math. Of demand on one and a half horsepower supply. You can't come anywhere near that with a regular AC system. Our system is much cheaper, much simpler, much more durable. All this hardware lasts for decades. So watch this. So <clears throat> when I welded this up, I got some big old lumps of metal on there. I'm just going to take those off with the grinder, and then we're going to put this thing in the lathe, and we'll machine it for real. All right, you ready? Watch this. This is a near 200% overload on our system. Boom. Oh, got hit switch. Boom. There it goes. Now it starts off a little slow. Oh, now it says, I want to go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So we are near 200% overload. Now, I wasn't being nice to that grinder. I was pushing into it as hard as I could. Took off a big chunk of metal. This thing's got real power, even at near 200% overload. This is a miracle of, of a DC microgrid. We've got solar panels last 100 years. This thing will last longer than I live. This equipment lasts forever. People out there buying consumer junk, batteries, all that stuff, it wears out. This is stuff that lasts forever, but they don't want you to buy this stuff. They want you to buy that stuff where you have to keep buying, keep buying, keep buying. Uh, this, you want to be energy independent? You want to take this around the world to poor people? That's what we're trying to do. We want you to help us. Have a good day. You got the, you got the little red camera going? Hi, I'm Alexis from Living Energy Farm. We were working on a spindle for our mower earlier. We put it in the grinder uh, to get it started. Now we've got it in the lathe. We're pretty much finishing it up at this point. It's about 3.30 on a winter day. In fact, it's so cold my water-soluble oil is frozen solid. So I'm having to use cutting oil instead. Uh, we're just finishing this up on the lathe. This is a daylight drive lathe. It runs straight off the sunshine from the solar panels. It's a cloudy day, 3 o'clock on a winter day, and we still got enough power. Uh, so watch this thing cut. It's kind of fun.
this daylight drive DC power cutting steel making a mower spindle from one of our mowers let's get some oil in there Woo! come on a whole different way of doing work. Anything that can spin a metal lathe, can spin any appliance, any tool. Daylight drive power means you don't need a centralized power grid. The problem, of course, is that there's so much uh, fixed investment, so much money invested in the existing power grid, and everybody thinks they've got to have their appliances just the way they are. Um, but thankfully, there's a lot of uh, attention being paid to climate change now recently in the media. Uh, this uh, is a powerful solution to climate change. It means we don't need a grid, we don't need coal plants, we don't need frack gas, we don't need nuclear power. Here we are cutting steel with sunshine power straight off the solar panels. If you can cut steel with it, you can do anything with it. So here we are, we're just finishing up our part. We just got to smooth off this outer edge a little bit. Realize we left it a little rough. Whew, not cutting much metal, just smoothing it off. There we go. That edge. So there we have spindle for a uh, mower cut from raw steel. We machine that, we machine that, we board the ends. Now we just got to tap it and we'll get somebody else to cut a little uh, keyhole there because we don't have the capacity to do that. But that was machined with daylight drive, solar power, straight off the solar panels. No coal, no nuclear, no frack gas. Have a good day.